Welcome to another Super Lux Edition unboxing video. This is Supergrass, In It For The Money, their second album, which has been reissued by BMG. So this was released in 1997, uh, and it's been reissued on vinyl, and there's a three CD deluxe edition, so we're gonna take a look at both of those today. Um, the first thing to say about the vinyl is that it has a lovely textured sleeve presume this is recreating the original you can probably just about see it there uh, very tactile feels great in it for the money supergrass is embossed and um, yeah feels really nice I mean, it's not ultra thick card or anything but it's just it just feels nice because it's textured there's the spine the other thing that's good is you get a bonus 12 inch with this so all of them come with it's actually a white vinyl 12 inch even better so it's a colored vinyl and you get the Bentley Rhythm Ace remix of Sun Hits the Sky which was originally just a promo mix I think and then the b-side to this 12 inch is the animal which was a bonus track on one of, on one of the CDs of late in the day that single which is obviously off the album very nice bonus thank you very much can't rival the CD bonus material, but it's nice to have something. Uh, the vinyl record itself, printed inner, and BMG have done a good job with replicating, you know, the original style. Obviously, the, ty the typography and everything, it's, it's all as it should be. And that was the original vinyl label as well, 180 gram black vinyl. Now I do like this album, I do think a lot of people love this record, I, I think the first album is much better myself personally, but um, this is still a good a good record. Now this is available on black vinyl which we've just looked at. There is an, another edition which was a, I think this was an indie coloured vinyl exclusive. Everything's identical except, pull the right record out, except the album itself is pressed on turquoise colored vinyl it may actually be 140 rather than 180 gram I'm trying to trying to feel it feels a little bit lighter but everything else is the same the sleeve's still textured and embossed so we've looked at the vinyl this is the three cd deluxe edition it's done very much in the style of i should coco the when they did a three cd of that that was ages ago that, that happened so they weren't even on BMG then. Yeah, it's two, 2015, I say ages ago, six years ago. But they, they've, they've kept it nice and consistent, even though it's a different record label doing the reissues. They've done the same kind of thing, so just briefly, that, that was the I Should Coco one. It's kind of like an eight panel digipack. And that's what they've done for In It For The Money, which is good. So very much in the style of. And they've really crammed it on. I mean, this is, I think this is an excellent three CD reissue. So you get the remaster of the album. Uh, disc two is pithily called Research and Development. So it's lots of early mixes, monitor mixes, you know, kind of guide vocal versions, etc. There's B sides and stuff on there as well. And then the third CD is called Product Placement Live Recordings. And that's what it says on the tin. It just gives you a load of live recordings there. The booklet, the booklet's actually a bit better than the I Should Coco one. The I Should Coco booklet had very little in the way of notes or anything. But on this one, there's, there's, they do repeat a review, which they did in the I Should Coco one. Uh, I mean, the layout's the same. They've got lots of labels and pictures. But on this one, you can see Charles Shah Murray has done, I mean, it's fairly short, but it's a, a little bit of a sleeve notes there. Or liner notes, if you're in America. Interestingly, they have got a picture of the Japanese one. I was going to show you that. So this is my Japanese CD from 1997. Completely different front cover. I was hoping they'd use this front cover for some sort of limited edition vinyl version. Maybe that might still happen for record store day. Who knows? But if you see this, this is like a painting and they're sitting in that round sort of porthole window. If you look, if you look in here, if you take the discs out, this is that very same porthole window. So there was obviously like a photo shoot of them looking like that and someone decided to paint it 
and it was never used for anything except the Japanese album cover which is kind of interesting so yeah that would have been nice to see that on a sort of 12 inch scale for instance but yeah so getting back to these sleeve notes um you know it's decent without being outstanding i mean it's nicely laid out and i do like the, the references back to the original singles so yes yeah, so i think this is a good job and it's outstanding value i mean it's quite it's quite cheap this three cd set and um, you get so much more content than on the vinyl obviously so there's not too much more to say i mean it's a great record really nice vinyl uh, reissue in terms of the quality of the the paper stock and the, the way they've done the sleeve and you get the bonus colored vinyl 12 inch which is a nice touch uh, the three cd you can't beat for value and for content uh, both together perfect combination so i hope you've enjoyed this look at supergrass in it for the money the 2021 reissue if you have why not subscribe to the super deluxe edition youtube channel for more great physical music unboxed thanks for watching and i'll see you next time Thank you.